trading options for beginners, live options trading think or swim, live options scalping, live options day trading. You guys know day trading live stream every single day from 9 a.m. to 11.30. Day trading options now. I used to day trade low full small cap stocks. Now I'm trading options. Welcome. It's great to be here, guys. It's great to be here with you. Yesterday, if you guys missed out, I ended up taking a $100 loss yesterday on SP. CE. I'm going to show you what I ended up doing here and how this went down and what ended up happening. Let me blow up this chart just so I can show you right after the live stream I ended up getting out of this. I ended up adding right into right here. I, I, I didn't add anymore, but I got right here. It came up to $10.19. It came down right here, right to $10 and was holding $10 as support. So I ended up cutting the loss right there. $10 is what I was going to add into. I did exactly what I wanted to do. And SPCE, like I said yesterday in the pre-market, SPCE could keep going yesterday. And that's exactly what it did. But anyways, that's okay. That's fine. That's how we get down. That's how we stand up. Having a little bit of a rough week, but I'm going to keep taking the shots I'm going to take. And that's how I do this move, man. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. Thing. hands raised man all the way up nothing can stop us i'm standing 10 toes down 10 toes down and that brings me to my next thing here today's 539 of the monkey army march to 1 million dollars we started this journey with $440 in my account. My account now sits at $11,545. All the way up. Stay strong, man. Stay strong. You don't have to stand tall. Just stand up. Next thing I'm going to do is this is everybody who's donated to the channel. I'm going to shout you from the rooftops. I shout you out loud. I shout you wherever I go. Let's go, man. And now let's get to the uh, market for today. What is happening? You guys know a lot of uh, ad-based companies, Facebook, Snap, Twitter, Pinterest are all going down. Google's doing something uh, that is starting to cause some problems. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, so just in case you guys are wondering, look at Snap right now. It is going straight, straight down. SNAP, look at this. Boom, it got hit hard, it got hit big, it got hit, hit, hit. Look at Facebook. Boom, I think this is a beautiful add into trade, a long trade for Facebook. This is the one we may trade on Friday, actually. I hope it can come down a little bit further. This may be a max trade on Friday for us, but we'll see. We'll definitely, definitely see. So now let's start looking at what we're gonna look at. The first thing we're gonna go to is the SPY. Another thing to pay attention to today is the Fed minutes today at 2 p.m. The market could react to that. It could be going up. It could be going down. Uh, whatever direction the stock market starts going, that's the direction I want to trade today. But let's go look at the SPY real quick. We'll blow this chart up and we'll talk about it. The SPY, just like we said yesterday, it was going to be a choppy, choppy day. It did have room from 445 up to like 448 right there, maybe even 450. It really didn't make it. It just chopped around just like we thought. But the last two days, the black part on my line is the market open hours. The uh, the gray part is the pre-market and after hours. I, oh, I need to tell you guys one thing also. L let me see what it says. So if you guys are wondering what... Uh, oh my gosh, where is this thing? Oh, anyways, let, let me show you real quick. I just need to show you this. If you guys are wondering on Think or Swim what this means right here, AM and PM, AM is actually the pre-market. AM is pre-market. And PM is post-market, after-market. PM, I know it's a little confusing, but AM is pre-market. PM is post-market. That's what those two mean. Think or Swim just added those in there. So just in case you guys are wondering, I know it looks like aftermarket and pre-market, but this is pre-market. AM is the pre-market. 
PM is the post market, after market. Just in case you guys are wondering. Okay, let's get back over to the SPY and see what's happening. Look at this morning. The SPY went all the way up to a high of 447.75. We'll put this in a... Uh, in an orange dotted line right here that's the pre-market high if you ever see an orange dotted line on my chart that means it's the pre-market high right there and that's what i do boom 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 good morning uh rolling b uh, yeah morning monks hopefully you learned something from that rolling b <laughs> I, I just learned that myself actually so the spy let's go to the daily chart and dissect the spy this is how i judge the overall market so let's see, like at the beginning of the year, the market sold off. It has a lot of support down here by 427. It started making a high, went all the way back up. This is support right here by 445. But what is it doing? Yesterday, basically it had an all green day yesterday. Now this morning, it's down here. Is today going to be a red day or is today going to be a green day? I don't know. It's still right in the middle. Until it gets over 450, I just don't know what direction. Once it gets over 450, I think we will head up. We will head up a little bit. Today is a hard day to read in the stock market. Very, very difficult. But above 450, it will go up. And I don't know, below 440, it could come down. It's just chopping. It's chopping, chopping, chopping. Today, definitely, if it gets below this, I think it could come down today and have a red, red day underneath 440. Underneath 440. But right now, it's sitting. I'm going to show you right where it's sitting at right now. It's hard to say that on this stock right here because because on the five minute chart, it's sitting at here, 444. So 440, that's a long, long ways. What is it gonna do between there? The previous day's low is 443. It could chop around in between this level. Today, I just don't know. If it gets above, if it gets above the previous day's high, I think we could see 450. That, that is it. Uh, today, hard, hard day to read. I've been forcing trades out there. I need to quit forcing trades. So there we go. So right now I'm on the five minute. I use the, I use the monthly chart. I use the daily chart. I use the uh, 30 minute chart sometimes or the 15 minute chart. And I use the five minute chart and I use the one minute chart. Those are the time frames I look at. Those are the time frames I go after. I This red line on my chart is the 200 simple moving average. And the red line I only use on the daily chart. Right now you can see the 200 simple moving average is sitting right at 244. So it's right, just right at it. A lot of people judge the 200 simple moving average. If it's above it, the stock is strong. If it's below it, the stock is weak. It's right at the 200 right now. It's a very difficult chart to read. What is going to happen? We're going to have to wait till about 2 p.m. Eastern time, and maybe we'll get a clear direction from that point forward. But right now, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be tough, but we're going to come for the money. And what do I have on watch today? UPST. Let's, let's put this on the five-minute chart. Look at UPST. The pre-market high is 149.90. It went basically all the way from $100 all the way up to $150. This stock, that is a power, power move. Uh, they had earnings, 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 earnings. So, okay, earnings is what I hear. So, anyways, and it went all the way up. Now, let's go to the daily chart and see what we can see off the daily chart. It's already gave back a lot of its money here. From 149.90, it's already came all the way back to 130. It's gave back $20 of its move already. It did make a $50 move, so it's gave back almost half of its move already. And that is crazy, man. 
two years, one day? What can we see off the daily chart? Just looking out at it straight out. This stock has been way up at 40149. It came all the way down to like 80 bucks, and then it's been bouncing around. Look at this. Consolidation, 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 breakout. The pre-market high is right there. So it consolidated right here. Look at this consolidation between there and basically here. Consolidation, consolidation, consolidation. Boom, 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 boom. And then straight up right into that level. Look at that. Look at that. Boom, straight up a breakout. But what do we notice on the daily chart? It is way oversold. So this breakout had a long time in the making right here. But I have daily support resistance at 162. And like I said earlier, that red line right there is the 200 simple moving average. Any stock that is underneath it is weak. Any stock that is above it is strong. And look at it coming uh, all the way below it. So if this could get a push back up to the, I'm looking to short sell this thing. I'm looking to buy puts somewhere in this area between 150 and 160 short sell, short sell, short sell. But it's already way back here. It's already pulled back all the way up to 130 right here. So what can we do? Maybe if it pushes up to 140, we short sell right there. Somewhere between 140, 140 and 160. Right in that area, that's where I'm going to look for a pullback right there. That's about it. That is it on UPST. So UPST, definitely a good one. But let's put this up on our watch list real quick so we can see what's happening. UPST. UPST, another stock is Airbnb, ABNB. Look at this one. Let's go to the five minute chart, just like usual. We'll talk about this one a little bit. Look at this one, 194.80, all the way up there. Edit properties, orange dotted line, just like usual, orange dotted line. This is the five minute chart. Every single candle is five minutes a time. So 149.80, this one grinded up all day yesterday. What a beautiful, beautiful grind up and then a power move right there. Boom, all the way up to 194.80. Let's go to the daily chart. Let's look at the daily chart. Boom, 194.80. What do we see when we look at the daily chart? It, it really had a tough time up here by 212. That was a long time ago. And then it pulled way back, been double bottoming down by 130. Ever since 130, it's been climbing higher, higher, and higher. And then it hit that 212 again and got resistance. And ever since the beginning of the year, it sold off right here. But the important part is what has this been doing? What, what, what? Look at this. So it's been grinding higher, 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 higher. And then this morning it did this. Look at this. Boom. It basically went boom. The pre-market high is right there. That's the pre-market high right at the resistance. Anywhere in between this level is where I want to buy a put, put, put. Put, 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 put. I want to put trade this thing, man. Boom. But right now, where is Airbnb sitting at? Right at this current time, it is sitting at, it's already pulled back. It's already down here by 180, 182, right, th right in that area. That's where it's sitting at. The previous day's high was 180.63. The previous day's low is 172. I think this could do a pullback back down to the 172 spot, right in this level. 172, I think it could pull back to today. But we don't know. It could have a green, green day. But a lot of these stocks are already pulling back so far. 
Airbnb is already gave back 15 points. $15 since its start, man. So what else are we going to see? Uh, RBLX, you guys are looking at. We'll go look at that one here in a minute. But anyways, definitely good. So we have two stocks we have on watch right now. We have we have A, B, and B. Oh, A, B, and B. And we have U, P, S, T. Yeah, U, P, S, T. Okay, and the market today, the overall market is looking a little bit, a uh, little bit weak, kind of. So that's the daily chart. Let's see if there's anything else. Let's look at RBLX. RBLX. We'll we'll check this one out. Boom. Uh, maximize sell. The previous day's low is 66.80. The previous day's high is 71.82. Let's go to the five minute chart here. Look at RBLX. Look at this. Boom. All the way down. This thing is so weak. So, so weak. The pre-market low is $56. Let's put that line in there. I'm just going to put this line in a... Uh, red solid line no a red dotted a red long dotted line so we'll put this in a red dotted line um a red big dotted line the red little dotted line is the previous day's low look at this pre-market low right there now let's go to the daily chart and see what we can see rblx the pre-market low is way down here at 56 dollars the resistance is up by 74.85 and that's right where it came up to. Look at this. Let's go down to the monthly chart. It's right down at the very, very low. The low, all-time low for RBLX is basically this. 53.63 is the all-time low. The pre-market low right now on RBLX. Where is my RBLX at? Oh, I took it off my chart. RBLX is this gonna be a bounce play is RBLX gonna have a bounce today could be a bounce for RBLX definitely definitely a bounce for RBLX it's at the all-time lows RBLX I think is a good good company I think today is gonna be a bounce call trade call trade at least for a retest of this level 67 and maybe even a retest of 72 but at least a retest of 60 57 to 60 dollars definitely an okay trade this is a call option trade call option trade on rblx that's what i see good morning yep rblx call call option Maybe it's going to be a good one. AMD, we always have to look at this one. Let's go do this one really quickly because AMD and Tesla, we always have to look at these two also. I can hold whenever I'm not concerned. RBLX, definitely a call option trade. Call, call option. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I can hold until whenever I'm not so concerned. You taking it? I'm not taking RBLX. Uh, just in case you max in here, I did sell all of my uh, all of my BBIG for sixty cents a share. Just in case you guys are wondering, I'm still holding on to AMD though until this Friday. Uh, but here we go. Okay, so let's get in here. Let's see what else we're gonna do. So you guys know AMC, LCID. Those are all my favorites. Also. LCID definitely, but let's look at AMD. The today's high or the previous day's high is 121.88. Today's high is 122. Let's put that in an orange dotted line right there. 122. So we're just trying to get some stocks dialed in here to find out what can we trade today. AMD is always a good one. Look at that. We called a long trade right here at 115. This thing went all the way up to 122 up there. Let's go look at the daily chart. What do we see on the daily chart here? I just don't know. 
I really think AMD, the reason I'm holding on to some of my shares for long is because I think AMD could possibly bounce right here and get up into the 135 to 140s. Not today, but in the near future. In the near, near future. In the next week or so, I really think it could get up there. Uh, right up there, man right up there and that's about it anywhere between this level and this level boom it's going to come up into there and then that's going to be a good short sell i don't know i don't see a lot of good stuff today but we will definitely find something let's go look at tesla so we can get that dialed in there Tesla, AMD, basically a choppy day to me for today. Unless it gets under 120 and stays under 120, it could get down to 115 today. I want you guys to know that. Underneath this 120 right here, it could definitely get down into this level. Uh, all the way back down to 117, 115. Could even see 110, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah, AMC all the way up to twenty dollars, man. I should I should have took that one. Man, I cannot believe SPCE coming back down. I'm watching SPCE today also. Happy birthday, Roland B. It's Roland B's birthday, man. Monk has a crystal ball. I'm just showing you guys what's happening, man. I'm showing you what I'm looking at. I've done more homework than that. I'm giving you the simple version of the stock market. I don't know what Russia's going to do. I don't know what the Fed meeting's going to happen. I don't know the news. All I can do is judge the overall market right now, and it's really hard to judge right now. And that's all I can say. So let's go look at Tesla. We got to hurry up with Tesla here. Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. The pre-market high so far is uh, 928.49. 928.49. 928.49 here. Boom. Orange dotted line, just like usual. Boom, boom, boom. All the way up. Nothing can stop us, man. Boom. All the way up. Nothing can stop us. We got this. I know I've been dragging ass a little bit and trying to get the show on the road. Been having a little bit of trouble with options. Don't you guys worry a bit. I'm going to be just, just fine. The last three weeks I've been green. The last three weeks I've been green. And I've had a worse drawdown than this in the last couple of weeks. And I always end up green. I'm always going to end up green. So don't you worry about it. Let's go to the daily chart. Tesla, look at this. What do you notice? Look at this consolidation. 9.39. Today is the day. Today is the day. It's already way down here by 9.15. Today is the day. Today is the day that Tesla could definitely make it up to 1,000. But if... If it breaks below this 900, if it breaks below the previous low a day right here, which is uh, 900 right here, if it breaks below 900, maybe it is coming down. But I think myself, I think this is coming up. It's going to break up, out over this. It's been consolidating, consolidating, consolidating. I think it's going up. Today, I give Tesla a up rating <laughs> up let's go man let's get it let's do it let's get this money man let's get this money snap so tesla let's go look at the uh five minute chart again of course i have all the all-time favorites on watch oh d -Wack. we got to talk about d -Wack. d -Wack is another one i'm gonna be trading d -Wack today DWAC has been trending down, down, and down. If it gets up into a hundred dollars, I'm gonna short sell DWAC. If this gets a good spike right there, but right now we're gonna look at Tesla again. I want to show you guys this. Restore sells Tesla. Tesla, let's get ready to go for the market open. So as you guys can see, my top two stocks are A, B, and B. Is that right? 
where is that a b and b i need to fit i'm trying to get my thing worked out but it's still not working right a b and b boom 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 pdd is another one this one let's get everything worked out here ah uh, boom a b and b so I'm ready to go. What what options am I going to trade? I'm going to trade February 18th expiration. ABNB is my favorite. Here goes UPST. Remember about UPST. We have to remember that this thing is over oversold. But at some point, is it going to get a pullback? We know right where we want to. 140 to 150 on UPST. 140, 140 to basically 160, 160 right there. Happy birthday, Roland, Roland B, man. Well, for BBIG, you guys better pay attention to BBIG. Making some money, Roland B, I hope you got into that BBIG with me. That was definitely a good one, or even AMD was a good one to get into. AMD a little bit more expensive, though. Let's get ready to go. We have four minutes until the market opens. You guys know. Did someone say chicken? <laughs> Let's go. Right out of the open. Let's get ready for the market open. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. SOFI also, SOFI. DIS. <laughs> let's go let's go let's go don't be afraid to make some money every day is another chance to shine man every day is another chance to shine i'm bringing up the little toe tap let's go man bbig uh, hopefully you guys are day trading bbig if you're day trading low full small cap stocks above four dollars has room to six dollars five to six dollars UPST, man, look how beautiful this is. 136, I gotta wait and see on this, man. I gotta wait and see if there's gonna be any volume. Oh no, I gotta switch this, yellow, boom, right there. Love your motivations, makes me wanna stand up. Hands raised, stays raised. The way we do anything is the way we do everything. AMD getting rejected. AMD coming down a little bit. UPST on the top of our list. We're looking for a spike anywhere up into the 140 to 160s. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it hard. I really would love to see this go to 160 and I would get it good. Get it good, man. AMC, we have a couple. SOFI is another one. We have to have that on watch. SOFI. SOFI is going up too. I may attack that one. SOFI. Here we go. Five seconds till the market opens. Remember to always trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Ding, 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 ding. The market is open. The market is open. Then to yellow. Boom.
Come on, give me, man, this is a beauty right here, but there's not very much volume on this thing. 140s. Man. Man, there's not a lot of volume. I want to short sell this thing, but I'm waiting. I'm giving it a little bit. Let's go, man. Let's get this uh, going, man. Here we go. 140. Man, I want to short sell right here. SOFI is going up. SOFI is going up also. Let's go look at SOFI real quick. This one has a little bit more volume on it. SOFI, man. SOFI is going up. I'm going to get UPST, though. I'm getting it. I can't get it. I can't get it. There's not enough volume on this thing, man. Oh, my gosh. SOFI up by 1280. AMC is going up, up and away. AMC is going up. DWAC is hitting the moon. DWAC is going up, too. DWAC. Man, look at this short sell right here. Airbnb is coming back up. Maybe I'll be able to get this one. Airbnb, man. Let's look at this. Snap is popping up a little bit also. DWAC is it all the way up to 8. DWAC. DWAC is going up. DWAC going all the way up, man. Look at DWAC right here. This one's looking good. This one's looking nice. SOFI, I hope you guys can short sell that one. SOFI, there's not a lot of volume out here. That's the only problem with my thing. So, but we can see 86, 85. Man, I wish there was more volume on this thing. SOFI still going up. LCID going up. I'm, I'm going to have to trade something with some more volume is the only problem. 28. I'm going to load up LCIDs here. Boom, boom, boom. LCIDs going up, up and away. SOFI and DWAX going up too. Come on. Let's go, man. So I'm on LCID. I loaded up the 2850 uh, puts. The 2850 puts. Boom, boom, boom. We'll see. Come on. Get up there. I'm trying to get LCID right here. UPST just didn't have it, but that's okay. SOFI and AMC is definitely going up. Come on. I'm trying to get in on LCID right here, but because it has the best volume right there. Yeah, SOFI is all the way up. AMC is going all the way up also. I missed out on this trade right there. That's okay. That's fine. We'll get something out here. LCID, SOFI. Look at SOFI going straight on up. Let's look at the uh, daily chart. It is kind of oversold right here. So I don't know. These oversold ones, I've been trading those and they've been biting me. DWAC, LCID is my top one out here. LCID, SOFI is a good trade. SOFI is a good put trade. AMC, we'll see what happens to this one. AMC, man, I can't get in anything. I'm trying to wait for something. LCID, Airbnb. Look at this, 19, 1950s. I'm loading up the 1950s on AMC here. AMC, the 1950 puts. 1950 puts, man. I really would like to get LCID though better. Here we go. 29, 2850. Come on. You can do it, man. LCID is such a good one here, too, man. I'm waiting for these. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. SOFI, what a beautiful short sell at 13. 12.95 short. 
on there upst coming back up a little bit we'll see if the, some more volume got in here here it goes looking better upst 135s i'm gonna load up the 135s here they're seven dollars but that's okay eight dollars and we'll go from there sofi all the way up over 13 and still going up LCID moving up also. So we're waiting for a good trades out there. SOFI, LCID. Man, some of these stocks, man. I got to get something. Airbnb. Man, come on. LCID. 29. 28.50 on LCID here. So we're going to get something out there. UPST. UPST all the way up. 135s, 138s, 140s. I'm going to look at the 140s on UPST here. And we'll see if these things can come up here. UPST could be a good one. SOFI still going straight up there. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see it. 40. I'm, go I'm trying to get the slaughterhouse. If you're not careful, yeah, UPST van is a good one. UPST are A, B, and B. These are my top two stocks out there. Airbnb and that one. Man, SOFI is still going up. SOFI. Airbnb is going up too, man. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Airbnb, I'll get it here pretty soon. Look at UPST going straight to the moon, man. 140s. $8, 850s. Let's get it. That that's junk's happening. Look at look at this UPST band going straight on up. SOFI still going straight up. It's about time to get a hold of that one. SOFI now. Man, here we go. Bum bum bum. Seven fifty five, seven twenty, seven seventy, seven fifty. Confirm and send. Let's go. Let's see what happens on UPST here. I'm out. 85 bucks, man. $85 on that trade. I made 85 bucks there. I still got some buying power, so I'm looking for some more. You uh SOFI went up right up to the previous day's high up there. It looks like it's trying to go up a little bit more. I'm gonna get back in these 140s in a minute. We'll find out if these things are gonna go up higher. So I made a little bit of money, 85 bucks today. I'm happy with that, but we'll see. Man, I would like to get, I should have, I, I was hoping this thing could push up a little bit more right here. Because this thing could go up to 160, but anywhere between 140 and 160, that's where I want to take my uh, shot at. 140 and 160. SOFI, uh, if you added, if you started at 1280 and added up into the 1320 so far, you are doing just fine. You are doing just fine on SOFI. If it bre once it breaks below, look at this. Look at this trade right there. Just beautiful. Beautiful trade right there. Clean, nice, and beautiful, man. Airbnb, let's get back over there. We'll see what happens out here. 
Airbnb's going up too. A and UPST, if it gets up over 145, I'm going to look for another trade on it. I should have held half of my shares a little bit uh, lower. UPST. Yeah, uh, SOFI, I hope you guys started at 1280. Look at that, 13. Looking good, looking nice. Could come all the way back down to 1260. 1260's right there. Tesla is coming down. AMD is coming down. XOM, DWAC. All these, man. DWAC coming down too. SOFI, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful trade right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trade. UPST all the way back down. Ugh. This one, I, I, I was trading such uh, big contracts right there. Made 85 bucks, not too bad. I'm happy with that 85 bucks. But we'll find something else. If we can get another trade on us, we're going to be just fine. If you guys are still holding on to UPST, congratulations. Congratulations. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do it, man. Thank you for LCID. Yeah, LCID was a super good one, too. Uh, SOFI, super good one, too. But SOFI is holding up a little bit better. But we'll see. Look at UPST. Definitely a beauty. The one we wanted to get from the pre-market. A beautiful stock right there. Good stuff. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to take it easy today. I've been having a rough week already. So I'm probably going to take it easy unless I see an AAA plus setup. And then we'll go from there. We're trying to get this money out here. AMC, SOFI coming up. I may have to get a hold of SOFI at some point. If it gets up over that uh, previous day's high of 1325, or that wasn't the previous day's high. That was a few days ago. Never mind. I'm totally uh, wrong on that. That was a while back. Airbnb is moving. Look at this. UPST, you guys are making big money now. Uh, man, I, uh, I need to hold on to one of these a little bit longer. I wasn't sure if it was going to spike up again. And I just today, I just wanted to get my money. But today's the day I need to take opportunities. PDD straight down. PDD straight down, man. Uh, so I really would love to see Airbnb up here by the 190, 195s before I tried to get a hold of it. Their earnings were okay. Everything was good on this. But up here by 190, definitely a lot of resistance on uh, Airbnb. And some good volume on the contracts also right there here we go let's get it sofi trying to hold above 13 looks like it wants to come down below that there z z P, yeah z is tanking uh, some of these trades if you just take a little bit further out option trades on a lot of the stocks i'm trading and add in a little bit to them you're gonna make money 186 182. I'm going to trade the 182s because they're a little bit cheaper here. The 182s on A, B, and B. <clears throat> a, B, and B. And the issue with this end deal is that there has so many compares that really no solid leader in that domain was able to emerge. Yeah, SNDL, man, that would be impossible. There was so much, it was flooded, exactly. Exactly what Josebel said right there. Josebel called it. You called it, man. There, uh, anyways, let's go. Let's see what's happening. Where else are we going to get it? SOFI all the way back down. Look how beautiful this trade was. I should have attacked this one too. I could have got a lot more uh, shares of this thing. It would have been a lot better. Airbnb, we're going to try to get a hold of it. Tesla does have support at 900. I thought it was going to go up today, but 900 is support on that thing. Let's find out. 
PFE, look at that one. I don't trade that. EXPE, look at EXPE up here. EXPE, look at this one, man. I tried to trade this one in the past. EXPE. Boom, boom, boom. All the way up, 214, still going higher. Wow, 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 wow. How crazy is that? How crazy is EXPE? This thing is a monster, man. This thing is a freaking monster. EXPE. 210. This thing cannot keep going, can it? It is a grinder, though. It can turn into a grinder. It has popped up kind of bit. I'm starting to learn the grinders I need to stay away from. AMC popping up. Stock AMC is popping up. AMC. Let's get over there. AMC. I'm loading up the 20s. They're already in the money. The $20 puts are already in the money. Let's do it. Here we go. I could load up the 19s. The 19s wouldn't be too bad either. You could load up the 19s. But I'm going to load up the 20s here on AMC. I'm waiting for UPST. I'm waiting for ABNB. I'm waiting for SOFI. Disney is trying to make it up to Disney turns into a grinder. So be careful. Be, be, be careful. Let's, let's get it. Yeah, Z, man. Z, I, I'm done with Z, though. But definitely was a good one. Uh, BBIG, all the right down into the support, 366 support. A little bit lower, actually. Here we go. UPST popping back up here. Boom, boom, boom. Man, I wish I could have got this one, too. Ah, 140s right there. What a beautiful one on that one. AMC, we're going to wait. We're going to strike when we need to strike. We're going to wait when we need to wait. Man, you could have added into uh, UPST right there. That would have been a beautiful ad right there. But a kind of a weird kind of ad. So $20. $20, boom, yellow. Let's get it. I'm waiting for AMC to go up a little bit more. I hope some of you took that SPCE long trade yesterday. What a beauty. That would have been a beautiful trade, but oh well, that's fine. Whatever happens, happens, and you just got to live with it. So I did make some money today, and I'm happy about the money I made. We'll see if I'm going to end this week green or not. SAVE is moving up a little bit also. What am I looking for for AMC? Look at this. The last couple, yesterday, boom, a straight up. I'm looking for this to run all the way up to $20, $21. If this ran straight up to $21, I would hit it quick. I would hit it quick. If it did it in about five minutes of time. Is there anything else I should look at? EXPE still going up. CCL going up. I don't trade that. GE going up. RCL going up. Man, the stock market today. <clears throat> still kind of choppy though. There's UPST coming back up again. Here we go. Send to yellow, boom. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens on this one. Well, go big. I'm trying to go big, man. On this one, the contracts cost so much. There goes AMC. AMC, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do it. Let's see. 
Uh, AMC definitely going up right here. One dollar. Come on, keep on going. One more little push. If this does one more push, look at that one minute push. This is what the stock market's been giving us. One minute pushes. One minute put. Oh, I guess it did one minute, a pullback, and then up again. So definitely was okay right there. But I'm looking for some action, Jackson. Action, Jackson. So as a company, I'm comfortable with what they're doing. Being based in Canada with what's going on. I'm concerned with their future. I'll hold at least till August or high profits. That's kind of what I said for SHIB. I'm going to hold till April. Is it past April yet? What month? <laughs> Is it April yet? I don't know. Here we go, man. SOFI all the way down to the 1280s. Congratulations. Look at that. AMC. I'm not going to take these B quality setups. I'm just not. Let's go look at RBLX, see how that trade played out. RBLX, boom, right there. Look at that. All the way back up. Not too bad on that one. Not, not bad at all. So the way we do anything is the way we do everything. I'm waiting for something to uh, make a move for us. It looks like Airbnb, look at this, turning into a grinder somewhat which is never a good sign. AMC all the way back down, 110. Oh man, that would have been good. I should have got a hold of it. How do you change the quantity of contract? Mine says a minimum of 10. You go up in here and you go to setup and you go over to the options part or it's in orders or something like that and you can change the default. It's up here, go to setup and then I think it goes to order. You, you'll find it down in the little situation. Go to setup and then you'll find it there. And it's the order quantity right there. Boom, boom, boom. Right, right there. Look at NVIDIA, man. That was another one I wanted to get a hold of. The market is going red. The market is going red. The market is going red today. What is going to happen? Look at this. Look at the market going red. 440 underneath the previous day's low. Short. Let's look at it. Boom, boom, boom. I hate to short into weakness, but that is a weakness trick. Oh, right there. 443, man. That was beautiful. Good trade right there. Good, good trade. A little late now. Late, late, late. BBIG coming back down a little bit. Oh, well. We'll find something to trade out here for sure. KHC. No. Craft. ADI. No. But let's find something. We want to find something to trade. Let's see. Um... UPST, CINF, oh. oh my gosh, look at DNV, DVN, DVN, UPST is coming up, look at Tesla coming straight down, man, Tesla, this is the bounce spot, should I take a call on this, if I take a call on this, I'm going to have to take about a thousand, at a thousand i'm gonna have to do this i'm gonna do it i'm gonna trust my input i've been not trusting myself on this oh let's go 904 so i'll take uh man the 940s the 940s, should I do it? UPST, I'm gonna, I'm more comfortable with UPST here. This is looking better. UPST, I gotta stick with that. Tesla has a trade right there though. A starter at 905, add into 900. 895 you would add into. 
$8.95. But that's a long ad. A long, long ad. AMC coming back up again. Going to give us another move. AMC is just a beautiful stock, man. Beautiful, beautiful stock. 140s, 145s. 140s, boom. Let's go. Canadians are docile, folks. Morning, Monk. How did you do on SPCE? I took a 80, it was $82 loss, but I ended up uh, losing $100. I stopped out. $10 was my risk. I stopped out when it kind of went over $10 and did that first pullback. I can show you where I got out on SPCE. SPCE, I got out right. This was yesterday's chart. It came up here right right here. It went up to 1018, pulled back down to $10, was holding the support, so I got out right there. That's right where I got out on that red 5-minute candle there. It, it it pulled back for a quick second. If you look at it on the 1-minute chart, it's a little bit cleaner. It's right it's right Where was that? Oh, right here. See that right there? This is right where I got out. It went up here. I tried to add. If I would have added, uh, but I never got filled, I would have got out for break even. But with no add, I just took the loss right there. Accepted the loss. It was over my risk, so I stopped out. That's exactly what I did. And it was a good, good trade. Good trade, in my opinion, that just didn't work out. Did not work out. But that's okay. That's fine. I've been green, green, green the last uh, four weeks now. Four weeks I've been green. So here we go. 140s. Yeah. What? Just about they're all falling in dick tax shirt. Great cut, monkey. Yeah, great cut. Nice V. I needed to cut it. I wish I would have cut it a little sooner, tell you the truth. But I'm happy with how I cut that. That was very, very powerful cut. Thank you for saying that. I'm very impressed with that cut myself. Uh, here we go. Here we go. It was right after the live stream ended, about two, three minutes later, I think it was. Maybe five minutes. Five minutes later. Here goes AMC. Look at this thing going up, up, and away. AMC. Man, this thing is going up. Ninety-five. I got the twenty puts loaded up here. The twenty puts I got loaded up. I'm gonna let it come up a little bit more. Monk V I A C V I A C. Let's go look at it real quick. V I A C. Man, P D D also is going straight up. VIAC. I'm going to stay with uh, AMC though. VIAC off the lows down there. I'm going to try to get this one. AMC, look at it. Look at it. Going up, up and away. Come on. Give us one more good move. 21. Man, this is a good starter right here. Good, good, good starter. Is it going to go power up, though, and get up to $22 up there? 22 is my resistance. 22, I would have to stop out above that. 22. 22 to 23. 22 to 23. How much am I going to start with here? How much should I start with on there? Yeah, VIAC all the way down. Look at that. Another good money maker. Another, another good money maker, man. UPST going up. UPST, man. UPST. Let's get it. Let's do it. UPST, I got to get over there. I like this one better. 145. 145 puts I'm loading up.
What? Here we go, man. Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? UPST, AMC, both of those beautiful trades right there. When I take them, they won't work out though. So I, I had to let AMC try to make it more. It was right at my resistance right there. Man, UPST here. Look at this one. Come on. UPST. Let's do it. Oh, look at it. Here it goes. It did a pullback. Let's see this. Uh, how much this thing's going to break out up here. Oh, AMC going up too. AMC, I need UPST up towards the 150, 160s up there before I get in. If it gets up in that spot, I'm definitely going to try it. I may try. It depends on what happens out here. AMC going up to. I'm, I'm watching AMC. I'm watching uh, UPST and NIO. NIO. NIO is another one. Let's do it. NIO. NIO is right up at 2566. AMC still just grinding higher and higher and higher. Looks like a lot of people are trying to put money into that, into AMC. Here we go. Let's do it. I did. I don't blame you. Yeah, been gone from Canada four years ago. Okay, here we go, man. Let's do it. And thank you guys for being here with me. Look at PDD going up. Look at UPST, man. UPST, NIO, AMC. I'm about to trade AMC. I trust it a little bit more. But UPST could make it all the way up to 160, 155, my next resistance up there. I'm waiting. The stock market. Am I going to trade AMC or am I going to trade this one? 20. Man, I just don't know which one to get a hold of. Montreal is a nice city in the summer. <laughs> Montreal is a nice city in the summer, man. Don't you guys know that? <laughs> I know. I, I love it in the summer myself. Have you ever been? Have you been there? Have your driver pick you up, man. Uh, let's go NIO. Let, let's go over there. Let's get it. And I O look at this one going straight up. I'm afraid to trade LCID and NIO. LCID was beautiful. NIO, all these stocks are making moves. UPST 145. What a good trade right there. I'm just kind of being uh I'm not even gonna say the word. Oh, Patrick, you lived in Montreal for 40 years? <clears throat> 40 years. He's lived there. He knows already, man. Let's get this money. Let's find something we're trading. AMD all the way down. It, it's all the way back up to 118. If AMD gets up to 120, I really think it's going higher myself. Look at Tesla. I hope you guys took that one. NIO. Man, UPST, that was a good starter position. Good, good starter. Good starter, man. But I'm waiting. AMC, I'm not going to get caught today trading like that. I'm waiting for my trades. DDOG all the way up. SOFI. Man, SOFI, I hope you guys got that one. Look at that. That was the best, best setup. Quick in and out on LCI this morning, monkey. You got to trust yourself. You know that stock like the back of your hand. I know. I know LCID like the back of my hand. But electric car companies, I'm, I'm starting not to like uh, electric cars, man. They are the wave of the future. You're right. I should have. You're absolutely right. And AMC, I know pretty well, too. But this one's turning into a grinder on the one minute chart. Look at this. Boom. A little bit of a grinder. LCID. I know it like the back of my freaking hand, man. I should have got that one. Good trade on that one. NIO. I do like NIO as a trade too right here. 
too late for this one too look at that would you get any money out of it possibly needs to pull back a little bit more though and super mon am has to go yeah airbnb i do like that one too i'm watching it i think it could get up to the 190s though where is my next resistance i'm going to show you my resistance up here i think a b and b could get up to 190 anywhere between 188 and 194 that is where i want to attack it at my resistance is right at 194 just waiting for the resistance level man let's go just about where are you from man a b and b andy judd i sure hope it does go down I sure hope it does. I'm going to attack it. I'm going to help you. We'll see if it can go down or not. Would be wise to redeem yourself, Monk. Go huge. I need to go bigger. You're right. Go big and stop out. DWAC. DWAC is another good one. DWAC is starting to pop up there a little bit. So let's make sure. Let's not forget about the good money out here. BUD, I did like BUD, no. PD, DDOG, look at DDOG. I'm waiting for a good trade. I'm still going to attack something out here. It's just a matter of time. I think I'm going to attack UPST or ABNB or AMC or DWAC or NIO. One of those four right there. Let's go look at AMC now. Boom, boom, boom. 21s. I'm loading up the 21s. I like the ones that are in the money sometimes because they move a little bit quicker. I'm starting to find out, especially with scalping. NIO, AMC, uh, NIO and AMC and SOFI popping back up again. And Snap. And BBIG, I hope you guys are still adding into that. I actually added again on that one. On a different thing, though. Uh, not uh, not on the max situation, on another one. But NIO. NIO. DWAC. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do it. AMC, Monk, when you, when you come to the Bronx, New York to get that coffee, neutral 1980, I will be there. I'm, I, I definitely am going to be there. I can tell you that much. I will. BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond is going up today too. Man, NIO is making a move. DWAC is making a move. PDD making a move. PDD. I don't like to trade this one because this one turns into a grinder, man. PDD can really take you for a ride. Look at this. It is underneath the pre-market high. It is up over. Look at that move. PDD all the way up. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm seeing. I can't sing the song about New York. New York, I didn't make it, so I'm concerned. Bronx rule. Love that, Bronx. Oh, wow, Joe. <laughs> The, uh, the lion must attack at the right time to make a kill. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting for, is the lion. I hope you guys are in BBIG, though. BBIG, that is definitely a good one. AMC, I'm waiting, I'm watching, I'm going to attack it. Look how many times this gives you money. Let's say we got in at 157 here. $1.57 on the 21 puts. $1.57. We're looking for about $1.67 for it to come back and retest 20. $1.67. Some of these trades can get away from me, though. That is the only problem. NIO. NIO. Nothing. None of these stocks give you the best, uh, best trades. UPST. Send to yellow. Boom, boom, boom. UPST. I may trade this one. 157. 
Let's do it, man. Neutral, I'll see you. Neutral, in the future, we're going to have a meetup in the future, Neutral. And that will be good. Andy T I M T E. Do you know the way to San Jose? <laughs> do you know the way to San Jose? I, you know, one thing I know now, you know, now you don't know, or how's it go? Now you don't know. Now, you know, N I O Disney AMC P D D going straight up P D D going up, up and up. Uh, if I could short sell just the actual ticker, I would short sell PDD at $61.95. I would add into $63.95, believe it or not. And if I had to, and I would take profit at $61.50. $61.50. UPST, man. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. DWAC. All these stocks not really giving us much of anything. Nothing, 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 man. Here's OC up there, UPST. Man, UPST is handing money out. If you didn't know, now you know. Yeah, if you didn't know, now you know. As always, trading is tricky. My results are not simple, so don't try to follow me. Trade your own plan and plan your own trade. Take it easy. Assume you're going all the way up and nothing can stop you. But the stock market is a game of easy come, easy go. Come on, be safe. Stand up, man. We're going to get our trade. We have to be patient in our trades, though. From now on, if I would have been patient the first two days of this week, I would be up 50 bucks right now. Uh, but I, well, I'm not because I keep attacking stocks, hoping they're going to go down right when I get in. But AMC, definitely an okay stock. And I owe a good short sell. PDD, a good short sell. And UPST getting ready. UPST, man. UPST, this is it. Airbnb, I hope it can stay under the 186, but I really would love to see it up by 190s. Look at AMC making a move again, too. Here we go, UPST. AMC is going up, up, and away. Only trade big on inside info. You are the reference. Uh, I'm, the, I'm the referee, man. I'm the referee. I just stand by the sidelines. You guys know what we're going to do in the future. You guys know I was trying to get this account to 25,000 in 30 days. Obviously, that didn't happen, but I'm going to get there. It will happen. It's going to make it. We got to hold on to our bootstraps. Or not me. You guys hold on to your bootstraps. <laughs> or whatever i don't know what they say don't kick rocks is what i'm trying to say man i don't know what i just said never mind forget scratch those lines i just said but you guys know this is live and that's what happens during a live show you say things and it's going to be the bloopers of the century <laughs> I tell other traders, if you do, don't worry, Monk. No one is in his right mind would follow your trades. Yes, Josephelle, absolutely, man. I tell other traders, if they would do like you do, trade live, they'd be rock stars. Yeah, might as well trade live. Trading live ain't no joke, man. Trading behind the scenes, way, way better. So PDD, the next ad is going to be at 6205. 6205. Man, man, look at this triple, triple top right here. Is it going to get through this, though? Triple, triple top. You could get in right here by 780. Man, I, I'm letting it go. This ain't, this ain't a trade I'm willing to take today. AMC coming down, down, and down. Good job, guys. Good, good job. So PDD coming back down. You can take some of your profit on that one also. Yeah, no one in his right mind would take these trades, man. Look at these. I got to wait. I got to be patient. And I got to get it. Man, look at that trade right there. Boom. All the way up. If I could see another good move, 138 to 143, five points. Five, five points. Come on. 
UPST, SLGG by Microsoft by May. Yeah, MSFT, remember that one. Uh, February 11, 315 strike put was at $7. It ended up, I forgot to tell you guys, it ended up by $11. 11 freaking dollars. Yeah, uh, yeah, trade live, man. That is the way of the century. Trade live. Go get out there and do it. This is not the way to make a lot of money. If you want to trade live, go for it, man. <laughs> Go for it. The only reason I'm trading live is that I'm trying to build something here. And that's the only reason I'm trading live. There is no other reason I'm trading live out there. There is no other reason. Look at this. Look at this stock, man. UPST. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Look at AMC. The short sell on that one. All the way back down on AMC. Just beautiful trades. Not the best trades, but still good, good trades. Look at that. Okay, a lot of times when I get in this trade, I take my profit or stop out right there. So that is not a good trade to me, but still definitely beautiful stocks out here. Respect, yeah, respect. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Roland B. My trading style is insanity because it's insane if you trade like I do. Yeah, Patrick, did you get the message, man? trying to do some good stuff out here trying to find the money but upst is my favorite stock this is the one i want to get the money on that's why i have the uh 145 puts loaded up i'm gonna short sell this thing or i'm gonna short sell airbnb a b and b this could be the top for this or i'm gonna short sell dwac that's another one on my list up there SLB, boom, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. CNQ, CNQ coming down. KHC, WAB, nothing, man. I don't see nothing worth trading. UPST is going to be about my own favorite. Man, I don't know why this thing keeps doing that. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Here we go. Anyway, just a dude sitting in front of a camera sharing his adventure in the market. Exactly, Roland B. That's all I'm doing right there. Showing you my journey all the way up to $1 million. So LCID has a lot of support at $28 now. If you're going to take a call trade, you could possibly take it on LCID there. But look at the SPY. Look at this. 15-minute chart getting ready to set up. This is getting ready. Underneath this low right here, underneath 442.32, that is a put trade. Underneath 432.32. 432.32. Right there. All the way down to basically the 440s. 440s and maybe even lower than that. Man, DWAC is definitely popping up. Well, look into it. Should rise from 240 to $10 by May. Wh which one, Michael Allen? Michael Allen, which one are you talking about? Well, let's uh, maybe I'll check that out myself. Friday, we need to come up with some swing trades to swing trade into the next week, too. The max, we do a swing trade. Here it goes. Underneath that level, 432.22, which should do it in the next five minutes or so, or before the next five minutes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Man, I should load up the puts on this, but... 440s, you could load up the 440s right there. Here it goes. There it is. Boom, right there. $3.16 on the 440 puts. Here it goes. This is it. This is the one. Where is your stop got to be? Your stop has to be up here, though. Uh, your stop is right here at 443.42. 443.42 is your stop. 
that's where your stop is and you're going to try to let this come back down right there that is the stop upst here we go 144 or not 144 145s oh my gosh are you freaking kidding me 145 puts I'm loading up 145 puts there so the spy to me that is a put trade on the spy and the stop is up there the stop is at 443.41 and you're going to try to write it down to 440, 440s right there in that level right, let's go man didn't play kscp 840s to 920s oh kscp we'll look at some low floaters here in a little bit could you guys please hit the like button let's try to get 100 likes today we have 60 likes right now. I just want to say thank you guys for hitting the like button ahead of time. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. We have 59 likes right now. Getting ready to hit a couple more right there. Let's do it, man. Let's get it. Let's kill it. Get the money out here is what we're looking for. So 60 likes, we're going to make it from there. UPST. Here we go. Forty nine. Here we go. One forty fives. Let's do it. Look at UPST. It's getting up there, man. Come on. One more little push. Give us one more little push right here. UPST. I have the 145 puts loaded up here. 145s. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Waiting patiently for my trade. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do it. Let's get it. Man, it uh, looks like the spy's going to bounce right where I'm at, but you're still okay with that trade, in my opinion. Here we go. UPST. Come on. Man, this thing, give me one more push. I'm not going to get in a B-plus setup. I'm only looking for A-plus. Come on. I'm looking for it to get up to 147. This is a good trade right there, but I'm not going to take a B-plus setup. This is a good entry right here at $7.35. The 145 puts. 145 put. Uh, 7.50 entry. Boom, boom, boom. 145 put, 7.50 entry. Where did you get that information, man? Where do you see that information? On SLGG. Uh, who knows, man? I'm just trying to trade the big names out here. DWAC is moving up. 750 entry you're going to add into 149 though just in case you have to this is not a bad entry right here looking for it to come all the way back down beautiful beautiful trade right here your first profit's going to be right down here by 142 to 143 142 143 let's see is it going to go up higher? I hope it goes up higher. Then I'm going to get it. Just not going to take a B-plus setup. That's a good trade right there, though. BBIG. Yeah, BBIG is definitely going to pay off 100%. It's already paid off, actually. Here we go. Man, what a good trade right here. 
AMC is popping up again. AMC is popping up again. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. 750 is it gonna power up or is it gonna come down here you go your first profit's gonna be right down here underneath 144 between 142 and 143 142 and 143 amc is popping back up again i may have to trade that one a little bit less risky than upst Come on. Let's get it. AMC. So anyways, I'm waiting for UPST. If it could get up to the 147, 149 level, yes, I will take it. AMC. Boom, boom, boom. Man, what a good one right there. 21. I'm going to load up the 21 puts in there, the 21s. UPST, I'm waiting for it to go up a little bit more. Uh, AMC is another one I'm waiting for here. But UPST, I think, is a good trade. It could come all the way back down to 135, 130s by the end of the day. But we'll we'll see. Yeah, let's get this uh, money, man. Who am I inviting? I tried to send some invites out, Patrick. The invites didn't uh, didn't pan out. So anyways, it's hard to get somebody to come on here. But that's okay. That's fine. Uh, we're going to get in here. I have a couple people lined up for the future, but just not right now. I'm sorry. I wish I, I forgot. I should have told you that a little while ago. Yeah, Monk, yes, let's go, man. MU, Andy T, let's do it, man. MU is a no trade for me. MU, I'm waiting for UPST. Oh, there it goes. UPST. Bum, bum, bum. Let's get it. Let's go. AMC and UPST, both of these ones are looking pretty darn good. AMC is going to be a little bit less risky if you wanted to trade something. But UPST, it could get a good move right here. I still think this is a good put trade here on that one. AMC, man. AMC, 21s. Man, I'm waiting for something. UPST. AMC. One of those two I'm going to get a hold of. AMC or UPST. Take care, everyone. See you tomorrow. See you later, Joseph Bell. Have a great day, man. I'm trying to get some money out here. I'm waiting for a good trade. If I see a good trade, I will get a good trade. But right now, I just don't see it. These ones are just all grinding. Everything is grinding. It is the spy coming up to my stop? We'll see. Needs to get up here, 443. Should get rejected right here, but I don't know. Should get rejected. AMC. Man, I gave you a like. Thank you, Joseph Bell. Let's see how many likes we got, man. Low float took 972 to 10. No. Oh, man. I'm sorry, uh, Michael and Grecia. Hopefully that will pay off there. That would be super nice. We have 73 likes. I'm waiting to see. Is there going to be a trade out here? AMC coming back down. UPST. Still trying to make it. Man, this thing just keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. Look at this. Look at this freaking move, man. UPST just a monster. 145s. Yep, I have the 145s loaded up. They're getting cheaper and cheaper the higher this goes. Man, I was going to tell you guys about AMD a little while ago. The double bottom right there, but... Missed out on that one, too.
AMC, you could do a starter position. PDD, you might as well take the rest of your profit down there. What a beautiful little trade on PDD. Beautiful trade. Remember, we were in at 60... Uh, 185 it's all the way down at 6085 whole dollar a profit right now probably wouldn't have held this long but still a good good stock content is there any other trades do i see a trade out there yes on amc twenty dollars and sixteen cents a starter short twenty dollars and sixteen cents starter short you're looking for it to come back down to 1980s 1950s that is a starter short twenty dollars and sixteen cents but that's the only trade i see and i can't take it on options because options it's just not going to pay off but it's a good trade if you can just trade it out here we go Look at UPST been grinding higher and higher and higher. Is this the top or is it going to grind higher again? 44 all the way down. This thing is a monster. UPST and Airbnb is a monster too. If you want to take some of your profit, if you got in at $20.16, uh oh, here it goes. Here goes UPST. Between 147 and 149, I do want to take this. 147 and 149. Not a lot of sellers on this thing yet. Boom, boom, boom. 1980s were good times. The 80s, man. 1980s. Yeah, good times. Good pullback time, but let's try to get this uh, show on the road. I know, I know, we're just sitting here and we're waiting for stuff to come out. Uh, earnings report: Who had earnings? UPST had good earnings, so it, they sure are showing their earnings today, man. And it is going up. LCID. I hope you guys took that off of that twenty-eight. What I said a while ago, the twenty-eight dollar uh, call trade. A good, good trade right there. On AMC, you're going to take half of your profit at twenty dollars and six cents, and then go from there. Twenty, uh, twenty oh six. That's a good, simple trade right there. Good job getting your money on that one. UPST man 161 going up up and away people put money into this thing for sure DWAC okay here we go now we got something with some action DWAC 85s nineties I'm loading up the ninety puts eighty six here we go d wax starting to make some moves look at d wax making some moves up here I may load up the eighty fives I just got the nineties loaded up for now here we go come on d w a c making some moves man d w a c looking what uh 1980s yes definitely good good times let's get this money d -whack is moving up straight on up look at this maybe i should trade the 85s 86s i'm gonna load up the 86 puts they're a little bit cheaper 86s and it is going up, up, and away. Look at that thing. Boom. What a move, man. What a move. Airbnb looks like it's going to make it. So UPST should come all the way back down to 135. And, and AMC, hopefully you took half of your profit. You're just going to recycle, add profit, recycle, add profit. 86s. DWAC going up, up, and away. 
definitely super hard to trade this market there's not a lot of action out here but it's okay that's fine whatever we see we see 87 there it goes look at this DWAC going straight on up man Eighty-six, eighty-seven. Here we go. Three fifteens. Three twenty-five. Um, I have the 86 puts loaded up and I'm trying to get in on these things. 325. Come on. Let's go, man. DWAC is short squeezing. DWAC is short squeezing, man. DWAC is short squeezing. I'm trying to get in there. It won't fill me at all. Forty five. Oh, my gosh, I could not get filled there. Oh, my gosh, so hard to get filled on options right there. Come on. UPST still going up a little bit. <clears throat> Oh, well, I'll try it next time. It's going up. AMC's going up, too. Maybe I'll get another opportunity. Look at this trade right there. 87.50 all the way back down to 86.50. Just trading this ticker, you could have made money right there. Made money, money, money. Here we go, man. 86, 87, 90s. The 90s have a little bit more... Uh, the 90s, the 90 puts right there. Let's go, it will fill in seconds. It did not fill, I left it sitting out there. There's a few good trades getting ready to happen. Uh, AMC is going up, up and away. Uh, AMC, 85. I guess I could trade the 85s there. And UPST and AMC, both of those stocks. Not really that good. DWAC, I did try to take DWAC again there. What a good trade right there. A plus setup. A plus setup at 87.30 you could have got filled. Beautiful, beautiful setup. 87, that's a whole dollar. Just trading the stock outright. That is a clean setup right there. That's what makes it so hard on options. You can't, it's really hard on options, but it's okay. We're not complaining. Just a beautiful trade right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trade, man. AMC's going up. Let's look at that one. I would have already covered my position on DWAC. Been out, been good. M must hit buy and sell market buttons for quick fill. Yeah, but it's I don't want to get filled where I don't want to get filled. I got to wait. I have to wait until I want to get filled where I want to get filled. If I get filled way up there, I'll be down $100 before I even know it. But look at that. Beautiful A-plus setup. Just trading that ticker right there. Jumping in even at $87. It's all the way down $0.50 cents a share right there. Good, good, good money. Good, good, good money already. Even on AMC at 20, here's another AMC. You can get filled right here. $20, this is a short sell right here. $20.30. 20, 30 short. 20, 30 short right there. Cover, half, 20, 10. Or 2010. 
cover half 2010. But that's okay. That's fine. Whatever happens, happens. Where you get filled on price. Yeah, I know. I know it shows you where you could get filled. I, I'm looking to uh, add into the strength right there. But that was just an easy, beautiful trade there. Beautiful, beautiful trade. Even this one on AMC is a good trade. Nothing, man. Look at that. Look at that trade. Beautiful, nice, and perfect. Yeah, I know. I know it does. I could do that. Boom, boom, boom. It's a little different trading options. On options, you're going to have a little bit difficult time, but that's okay too. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. 87.40 all the way down to 85 now. 86, a dollar a share. A, over a dollar a share, a dollar fifty, dollar thirty a share. Wow, 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 wow. And on AMC, twenty dollars and thirty cents is your first starter position, and then from there, let's see if we can get filled somewhere here. We'll find we'll find out if we can get some money. UPST, here we go. Still going up. One forty seven, one forty fives, one forty seven or one forty fives. Even if you have a limit buy sales, you might not get filled where you want because of slippage. Yes, I know. If you're just trading an outright ticker, you can you can just buy market right there. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with buying market on uh, on uh, if you're just trading outright ticker. But trading options, you're going to have some problems. You're going to have some serious, serious problems. Easy money. Look, even this trade, uh, I could trade this right here. A short sell right here. Short 146, 146.68 or 146.30, let's say. 146.30. 146.30. Boom, right there. 146.30, letting it come back up there. Okay, there goes DWAC again. I'm going to get back over there. Let's get out of here. DWAC. Here we go. 90s. 86s. 86. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, man. And UPST is looking pretty darn good. I'm going over there first. UPST. 150s. UPST. I got to get this one. DWAC or UPST? One of those two. DWAC coming right up into the resistance up there. UPST. Come on, let's get it. Let's do it. D wax coming up. AMC still coming up. I would add into that one. Nothing wrong with that. UPST. I would start. I would add all the way into 149. Come on. This one has been grinding all day, so you have to be careful. AMC, D wax, and uh. And this one. And SOFI is also coming back up. Man, the SPY did not get rejected. I would have stopped out right there. AMC. Let's wait. AMC. Still good trade. Still an A-plus setup right there. Airbnb is busting out also right now. Airbnb. Here we go. Even if you have limit buy sales, you might not get filled where you want because of slippage. Absolutely, man. Let's do this. Let's get this money all the way up. Nothing can stop us, man. NVDA going up right now. LCID going up. SOFI. PDD, another setup on that one. PDD, another, another setup. The market is turning around. 
Somebody's been hearing some stuff about the Fed minutes. What is going to happen with that? What is going on? Here we go. What are they talking about, man? I don't know. The rate hikes, the balance sheets, Russia. What the heck's happening? What is going on? Man, AMC. Oh, Airbnb. Look at this one. Airbnb. 85. Two years, one day. Man, Air Airbnb, man. I'm about to take this. I'm about to freaking get in this one, too. One ninety four, one eighty five, one eighty seven, one nineties. I'm gonna have to start with one share size there, one one share size, because that one. What else can I do? Anyway, show them the trophy. We are the number one live day trading channel on YouTube, self-proclaimed, just like Roland B always says. We do have the trophy to show for it. Let's get it. Let's do it. Airbnb, UPST, there it is. Now you guys know. Now you guys know what we're talking about. I don't just have the trophy. I can rap about it too. I can rap about it. <laughs> hey guys, yeah. I, I know the market's a little slow. LCID 28 to 2846 up there. AMC still going up. SOFI going up. PDD, I would short sell the exact same spot, 6185 again. 6185 and write it down. You've already made a lot of money on PDD. Now you can make some more. Now you can make some more. And UPST, man. Look at this grinder. I guess you could have just bought this long, too. But AMC. GameStop going up a little bit today. GameStop, look at GameStop the last one, two, two days, the last couple days, GameStop's really been moving up. UPST. Oh, Monk, but the most epic, you know what it is, bro. We must do it, Monk. We're going to do it, man. You guys know what the future may hold. We may own a ghost town in the future, and that's the truth. <clears throat> Here's save. Save is going up. Save going up. S-A-V-E is going up. UPST coming looks like it's gonna start coming down, but who knows? I don't want to try to pick the top. Looking for something to move. S-A-V-E is definitely moving up and could be a good stock to trade right now. S-A-V-E, the previous day's high was 28 and it's going. If you're in on AMC at $20.30, you don't have nothing to worry about. It's going to do a pullback. Don't worry. AMC always does a pullback. AMC always does a pullback. Always, always, always. Look at LCID. Boom. All the way up. Microsoft. AMD is a hard one to trade today, but it is still sitting there. And Airbnb. Man, it looks like we may get a trade out here, man. The Fallen Anthem. Oh, you want to hear it, man? Neutral. We played it this morning. You guys know how we get down. You guys know how we stand up. We got our boots on. We're laced up. We're ready to go. S-A-V-E is moving up. Snap is moving up. S-N-A-P. It did go way, way down, but Snap started coming back up. S-O-F-I. A-M-C. A-plus setup short sell on uh, uh, AMC. But you guys know. Hands raised, stays raised. The way we do anything is the way we do everything.
Good job, one minute, trader. <laughs> Roland B, you got it, man. You got it. Roland B, you're in this, man. You're going to get it. You got it. What a freaking move, man. I couldn't believe it. Remember, we traded it on this Friday. And I traded it, made some money on it. Made a little bit of money on that one for sure. I'm waiting for something to give us a good move. SOFI, Disney is still going up. A lot of these names just grinding, grinding, grinding today. S-O-F-I. Let's look at this one. Look at this. Is this one going to be the mover, man? Man, this one's going straight on up. I've tried to trade this one in the past, and this one wrecked me. Wrecked me. AMC's got... Whoa, AMC always is going to give you a pullback. Let's get over to AMC. Looks like I'm going to trade it. UPST. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Nobody trusts the market anymore. Look at all these good, good moves to the upside. We've never seen this before, man. LCID. Should we trade LCID? Let's get over there. LCID or AMC. Which one is it going to be? Tesla. Look at Tesla making a move. These stocks are making huge moves right now. The market's getting some juice. The market's getting some juice, man. The market is getting some juice. 21s. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do it. Airbnb's going up. UPST's going up. AMC's going up. Man, which one am I going to get a hold of? Not UPST for sure. Airbnb. Man, this thing is going straight on to the moon. AMC is too. LCID. Man, which one get to do? Which one to do, man? LCID, is this the one? Tesla going straight up. Neutral 1980, thank you, man. The phone got me hyped up. We must be charged for it. Thanks, Monk. There ain't nothing stopping us, man. I'm trading like I trade, and that's what we do best. Thank you for donating to the channel. I really respect you as traders. I really respect you guys as human beings. I really respect you as my friends. Thank you guys for being here with me each and every day. Airbnb, this is going to be it. 190. I'm trading the 190s. The 190s. You're getting me hyped up too. <clears throat> Look at this thing going straight on up. Airbnb it sent me to the hospital. I'm getting ready to send it to the hospital. Here I come. Airbnb, AMC, look at all these stocks up there. Thank you guys for standing up, man. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for donating to the channel. Thank you guys for being here with me each and every day. Tesla to the moon. Tesla to the moon, man. Look at Airbnb. Man, I, it looks like the market just stopped all of a sudden. All these names that were running up. This came back down. PDD, congratulations on short selling that thing. PDD, A plus setup on PDD too. I'm just not seeing what I'm looking for. These moves are just like 
kind of sketchy, sketchy moves. UPST. Man, why didn't I get this one? Let's go. Come on. Give us one more good move up to 190s. I'm just not really seeing the best moves. LCID, we know that one pulls back down every single time. And it could go. You got it. You got it, Roland B. It looks like it's going to make it up there. Looks like it will make it. Man, Airbnb. 190s. Is it going to get up over 190 here? We're waiting to see. Airbnb 190. Is it going to make it? Here we go. I'm, I'm going to have to do a starter position and then add into it. But I don't have a lot of buying power. Yeah, I do. For 800. 1632 112 on Airbnb. Come on, give me one more good move up and I'm going to get it. Give me one good move up over 190. I don't want no intrinsic value on this thing. 187.50. Come on. Come on, man. AMC, $20.50. I hope you guys add. If you started at $20.30, you obviously added at $20.50. You have a $20.40 average. You're getting your profit right now. Congratulations, everybody. UPST finally is breaking down right here. Airbnb, I'm going to have to do a starter position. Four forty five. I'm going to start with one so I can add if I need to. I'm in at four fifty five. Four fifty five right here. Did someone say chicken in? I should just move on about my day. I don't know what the heck I'm doing out here. 455. Come on down. Fifteen. Fifteen bucks, man. I, I didn't really want to take it too awful much, but I took it anyway. The whole market started pulling back. It looks like the spy came up and stopped me out, and now it's going to go down. I hate when that happens, but it definitely happens. Made a little bit more money out there, 15 more dollars. I got to be careful. This one could have got away from me, and that's all what happened. I triple checked the charts. I did start this position at 125.21, added 50 on 415.21. Roland B, I hope you have some money. We need to, uh, this Friday, the max, we do a Friday Power Hour live stream. If you want to sign up to be the max, uh, it's right next to the subscribe button. It's the join button. Uh, Roland B, I want to get a good position this Friday in something. Maybe we'll trade something a little bit lower priced out there. I'm not sure what. I have a couple hundred bucks to put into something, so maybe we'll put half of that in and then add into a position or something. It's not going to be SNDL, though. I can tell you that much. Here we go. Let's try to get this again out here. $15. AMC. Look at this. Look at AMC. Boom. This beautiful. Every time this goes up, it pulls back. LCID, every time this goes up, it pulls back. 2860 to 2840, are you getting money? If you're trading options, it's going to be a whole lot difficult. DWAC, all the way up, all the way back down. All these stocks, all three of these names we were looking at. Perfect, nice, and beautiful, man. Airbnb, I do like Airbnb. I'm going to try to get this one again. Airbnb here. 
I'm waiting for it. I, I got I got a little bit impatient when I entered that position. I should have waited a little bit, but it's okay. I got it anyway. Don't add to your account anymore. Yeah, yeah, Elias, I'm going I'm go I'm I'm adding into the the Max Friday. I'm I'm gonna be adding into uh uh, a different account, but they're all going to be gathered together. The only way you see my other account is going to be on Fridays. Fridays, I have another account what we trade with uh, also, and I'll be adding into that one. That That's the one I add into. I'm going to start. I, I'm keeping the balance up there. On Fridays, you'll see the balance on that one. So I'm going to put them together when they both equal 25,000, then I will put them together. There we go. So it's just going to be a different way to do it, kind of. Here we go. It's more of swing trading, though, about short-term swings, sometimes a couple months, whatever the case is. There we go. Yeah, let's go, man. Let's get this. UPST finally went up. It's showing the weakness now all the way back down. I needed a little bit more of a push before I took it. Look at DWAC, look at LCID, look at AMC. Nothing wrong with those trades there. Nothing at all. Beautiful, beautiful trades. Let's go look at some low full small cap stocks right now. See what we can find on those. I'm gonna, because I'm waiting for Airbnb right now. A, B, and B. Here's Hook. Hook's going up. I already know about this one from this morning. Hook, look at it. Or this one can run. It has ran in the past. Boom, boom, boom. Hook is moving up here. It does have contracts on it. KSCP also moving up. KSCP is another one. So there's HOOK and there's KSCP. Both of those low full small cap stocks right now. HOOK and KSCP. Those are the ones I would be looking at. I don't see where to join the max. Fitz Trader, it's right next to the subscribe button. It's the join button. And if you guys are looking for a platform to use, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out here right now. It is uh right here. If you sign up through this link, this Weeble link right here, you'll get two free stocks. Two free stocks. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. We have 80 likes. We're getting close to 100 likes. How much money did I make today? About the same amount I lost yesterday, actually. I made 94 to art. Uh, four, I made 96 bucks today in the stock market. $96 green, green, and green. Let's do it, man. Let's get up there. We're going to find some more money out there. SOFI. We have 80 likes. I was hoping when I mentioned it, somebody would hit the like button. Even the ones that haven't hit the like button before, it's not that bad. I hit the like button for every single person out there now that does good videos. I hit the like button. Hopefully, you guys can do it for me. I really would appreciate it. Thank you. And that's as easy as that. Nice mug. Yep, 96 bucks today, man. I'm very happy with that. SOFI. I'm still down on the week about 70 bucks, but maybe tomorrow we'll get that back. See if we can get another good trade. I'm I'm still looking for a trade. I still think on Airbnb there could be another good trade on there. H O O K. This one, uh oh, up over the high. Pre market high is 217. This is going to be a little breakout trade. 208. I would take four cents profit if you're taking a breakout trade there. Four cents of profit. VLDR is another one. That would have been a good investing one. VLDR. HOOK, not a good one. Let's go see what Facebook's doing. Still coming down. This is the one I really want to invest in is this one. I don't see a join button. All I see is a subscribe. I'm on my phone. Is that the problem? Fitz Trader, are you in the United States? 
only if you're in the United States. I'm sorry, Fitz Trader. Hopefully you're in the United States. It is next to the subscribe button. It's the join button right there. You can read about it. If you click on it, you'll read about it and then you can see if you want to. I'm trying to update some things. I have been really busy recently. You guys know I'm thinking about, I'm, I'm basically, uh, you guys know I'm gonna work out uh, hopefully very shortly and very soon. What, was I talking about something? <laughs> was I talking about something, man? Nice trade, Monk. You nailed it. Thank you, Brian K. That means a lot, man. I finally was patient, man. Airbnb, UPST. I did like UPST up here. It had to make a little bit bigger of a move before I got interested. If it would have made this move right here, if it would have made it right here, I would have taken it. But it just didn't do it. Airbnb. Here we go again. Here we go again. What do I got? I got the 190 puts loaded up here. And I'm getting ready. Maybe I'm going to make some more money here in a second. Maybe, maybe, baby. F Florida, baby. Fitz Trader. Yeah, you can do it, man. Fitz Trader. We have a great group of people in there. All my, uh, they're my friends, basically my family now. We're doing some good stuff in there. We're doing some swing trading and we trade low full small cap stocks on Fridays. Uh, we do that. We do look at options, but mostly low full small cap stocks and we do some swing trading. Small time investing for a small account. We're gonna grow a small account into a big account. We took our first two swing trades last Friday. One was on BBIG. I'm gonna tell you guys just because it was our first one. One was on BBIG. We got in at 320. The other one was on AMD. We got in at 112 at 112 that was last friday i already sold all my bbig up towards the 390s this uh 380 today i sold them at 380 i was going to hold them up towards five dollars but i didn't tesla making a move tesla making a move <clears throat> here we go i cannot believe this spy look at this look at this boom chopped I was looking for the complete breakdown right here. No, it bounced right from that point is where it bounced at. The spy's going up all the way up. The, his mo yeah, on the home page right there. Fitz, if you sign up, I'll see it. I, I, I believe I'll see it if you sign up. Right, right there. Yeah, his my main page, the home page, it's right there. The subscribe button that right next to the subscribe button is the join button. Tesla, Tesla's going up, up, and up. I really would like Airbnb up a little bit higher. These ones make it super difficult to trade when you trade stuff like that. SOFI, I hope you guys made the money on PDD. This was just a good, good money trade. Two money trades. The first trade was right here. I will show you at 61.85. The second trade was right here at 61.85 with an ad. Look at that. Perfect. Two perfect trades. SOFI is popping up here. This one, I don't know much about SOFI, but I do like how it's moving up here. And this one can get me good. This one can get me good, man. SOFI. Tesla moving up. I don't know. It, it just did a red to green move, man. Will Brown KSCP over 10, shrugging shoulders. Yeah, look at BBIG is a good one too. KSCP is moving exactly like you like, Michael and Grecia. I do like that one moving like that. Look at it. This is exactly your situation where you make your money. Uh, uh, Michael and Grecia, have you been noticing some of those large cap stocks making those grinding moves like, like, you, like you like to trade basically? Sometimes you like those grinders. Man, there's been some good moves. I love your strategy, uh, Michael and Grecia. I cannot wait to work together with a lot of you guys out there, man. 
Roland B, just just coming along with the stock market. You're learning lots every day, making some moves, learning how to invest, learning how to be bag holders, learning how to make profits. That we are gonna make a force to be reckoned with, man. We have a good history we have a good resume we are making a resume for our future hang in there guys we're getting closer and closer and closer thank you coin is moving man texas baller always great to have you guys here you guys know that all you max we got this you guys know that already coin going up up and up yeah coinbase just a little bit difficult. Yes, it, there is probably a trade on this. I, I'm not sure though. There's a lot of resistance here by the 226 to 210. 210 to 226, a lot of resistance right there, but or whatever this is here. Yeah, yep. Following large caps through your option plays. Yeah, that exactly, man. You are you are getting it, man. Hopefully you are recognizing it. Airbnb going up. Here we go. Airbnb coin is a little bit difficult. Yes, there was a trade. A lot of people take that trade. Just didn't have the movement for it, though. Coinbase, and I, I want Coinbase all the way back up over 300 myself. That's why I don't really want to trade against it. But anyways, yes, there could be a good short sell on it. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay. Oh man. I I want to take another trade. Uh let's see. 190s. 190s on Airbnb. I got to go in a second though, but let's see. Airbnb going straight on up there. Boom boom boom. Man, Airbnb, man. This is a good starter position right here. Should I do it? Should I do it, man? Taking profit back down here by 190. 191 to 190? That's going to be some money on the 190 puts. But we'll see. If it goes up a little bit higher, I'm probably going to take this trade. Gre greed might nip me too on this one. Airbnb, I think greed's going to get me. I'm probably going to go break even on the day. I should be jumping in right here, actually. I'm hesitating. Hesitating, hesitating, hesitating. Airbnb, man. All the way up. I really would like to see it up a little bit higher, truthfully, but this is not looking too bad. Man, the spy knocked me out just by... I should have added into the spy, actually. Let's do it. Large caps, just another link in the chain and trying to be a strong one, learning and having fun doing it. 100, yes. And I appreciate all the people that uh, help help this channel. And that's uh, Anthony, uh, uh, Anthony, uh, oh my God, Ayub Job and Sterling. Thank you guys for being around. Thank you guys for doing everything you guys do. I just want to give everyone a shout out. All you Max. All the donators, all the keychain holders, keychains this summer. We're going to be uh, getting rid of the rest of the keychains this summer. But anyways, hopefully it comes along soon. And you guys know I am trying to get this workout going, but uh, you guys know I'm, I guess I'm lazy. I can't be lazy. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. Hands raised, stays raised, standing 10 toes down. We got our boots on. We're laced up, and I'm ready to go. Ready to go, man. Eric is moving. What? Eric is moving? Let's go look at that one. E-R-I-C. E-R-I-C. Airbnb. Definitely a little trade right here. Is it going to go down? I don't know. Lazy, yeah, lazy. Michael and Greasy, I need to stand up, man. I seriously, I've been sick this whole week. I've been super sick, believe it or not. Even though my mouth is running, I'm still sick, man. I'm still, still sick. 
I got to get out of here in a minute, though. I got to leave a little bit early today because I got to get some stuff done. Got to get some stuff done. Not working out, though. <laughs> I need to get this workout going. I know I do. I got the camera. I got two GoPros. I got the I got three circle lights or whatever you call those circle lights. I got the laptop. I got the Ethernet ran all the way to the pole barn. I got the laptop. I got everything I need to get the show on the road. I have the YouTube channel. I've already set up the YouTube channel. I just haven't mentioned the name to people yet. I just need to get, there's a couple more things I need to get together. I need to make my video, the intro video uh, on my before pictures, and then I'm gonna do an after picture also. But yeah, I need to get it going, man. Have a great day, see everyone tomorrow. Yeah, it looks like, so Airbnb, here's what I'm looking for on this one. I wanna short sell this thing anywhere between this level, right where it's sitting at, right there that's the short sell spot to me if it gets up over 195 that is going to tell me to prove that i'm wrong so 195 is my stop 194 kind of is but 195 i'll let it get to if i needed to that's kind of my trade right there that's a put trade i would trade the 190 192s or i would trade the 195s or the 190s right there and that's what I see, but yeah, I gotta get out of here. Great to see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm green on the day too. Let, let's do the uh, calculations for today, see how much money I made, and then we'll move from there. I don't wanna overstay my welcome. You're right, I've already done that a few times this week. I don't wanna do it again. 641.66 minus 545.62 equals here's how much I made today guys here we go green day day uh 96 dot oh four $96.04 green today. Congratulations, everybody. I'm very happy with that day. So I'm, I'm down on the week a little bit yet, but tomorrow we're gonna come out swinging. The market's looking like it's starting to look a lot better for some shorts out there. The, the market is good for long trades too. Brian K, uh, Rowan B, Paul, Fitz Trader, um, Michael and Grecia, Alex, Texas Baller, uh, Ayub Job, uh, Sterling, Anthony, Sex Addict, everybody have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early. And all the names I didn't mention out there, I see you, I hear you, I know you're there. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early. Peace out. Hit the like button.